Indian is an American brand of motorcycles originally produced from 1901 to 1953 in Springfield, Massachusetts, USA. Hendy Manufacturing Company initially produced the motorcycles, but the name was changed to the Indian Motorcycle Manufacturing Company, SIC, in 1928. The Indian factory team took the first three places in the 1911 Isle of Man Tourist Trophy. During the 1910s, Indian became the largest manufacturer of motorcycles in the world. Indian's most popular models were the Scout, made from 1920 to 1946, and the Chief, made from 1922 to 1953. The Indian Motorcycle Manufacturing Company went bankrupt in 1953. Various organizations tried to perpetuate the Indian brand name in subsequent years, with limited success. In 2011, Polaris Industries purchased Indian motorcycles and moved operations from North Carolina and merged them into their existing facilities in Minnesota and Iowa. Since August 2013, Polaris have marketed three modern Indian motorcycles that reflect Indian's traditional styling. History Early years, Hendy and Headstrom The Indian Motorcycle Co. was originally founded as the Hendy Manufacturing Company by George M. Hendy in 1897 to manufacture bicycles. These were initially badged as Silver King and Silver Queen brands, but the name of American Indian, quickly shortened to just Indian, was adopted by Ondi from 1898 onwards because it gave better product recognition in export markets. Oscar Hedstrom joined in 1900. Both Handy and Headstrom were former bicycle racers and manufacturers, and they teamed up to produce a motorcycle with a 1.75 bhp single-cylinder engine in Handy's hometown of Springfield. The motorcycle was successful and sales increased dramatically during the next decade. In 1902, a prototype and two production units of the diamond-framed Indian single were successfully designed, built and tested. The first Indian motorcycles, having chain drives and streamlined styling, were sold to the public in 1902. In 1903, Indian's co-founder and chief engineer Oscar Hedstrom set the world motorcycle speed record of 56 miles per hour. In 1904 the company introduced the deep red color that would become Indian's trademark. Production of Indian motorcycles then exceeded 500 bikes annually, rising to a peak of 32,000 in 1913. The engines of the Indian single were built by the Aurora firm in Illinois under license from the Hendy MFG Co. until 1906. Competitive successes in 1905, Indian built its first V-twin factory racer, and in following years made a strong showing in racing and record-breaking. In 1907 the company introduced the first street version V-twin and a roadster styled after the factory racer. The roadster can be distinguished from the races by the presence of twist-grip linkages. One of the firm's most famous riders was Erwin Cannonball Baker, who set many long-distance records. In 1914, he rode an Indian across America, from San Diego to New York, in a record 11 days, 12 hours and 10 minutes. Baker's mount in subsequent years was the Power Plus, a side valve V-twin, which was introduced in 1916. Its 61 CI, 42 degree V-twin engine was more powerful and quieter than previous designs, giving a top speed of 60 miles per hour. The Power Plus was highly successful, both as a roadster and as the basis for racing bikes. It remained in production with few changes until 1924. Competition success played a big part in Indian's rapid growth and spurred technical innovation, as well. One of the American firm's best early results came in the Isle of Man TT in 1911, when Indian riders Oliver Cyril Godfrey, Franklin and Morehouse finished first, second and third.
Indian star Jake DeRosia set several speed records both in America and at Brooklands in England, and won an estimated 900 races on dirt and board track racing. He left Indian for Excelsior and died in 1913, aged 33, of injuries sustained in a board track race crash with Charles Fearless Bork who later became Indian's top rider. Work at the Indian factory was stopped while de Rosier's funeral procession passed. George Hemdy resigned in 1916. Lightweight's 1916-1919 Indian introduced the 221cc single-cylinder two-stroke Model K featherweight in 1916. The Model K had an open cradle frame with the engine as a stress member and a pivoting front fork that had been used earlier on single-cylinder motorcycles but had mostly been replaced on other Indian motorcycles by a leaf-sprung trailing link fork. The Model K was manufactured for one year and was replaced in 1917 by the Model O. The Model O had a four-stroke flat-twin engine and a new frame, but retained the pivoting fork at the front. The Model O was manufactured until 1919. World War I As the U.S. entered World War I, Indian sold most of its Power Plus line in 1917 and 1918 to the United States government starving its network of dealers. This blow to domestic availability of the motorcycles led to a loss of dealers from which Indian never quite recovered. While the motorcycles were popular in the military, post-war demand was then taken up by other manufacturers to whom many of the previously loyal Indian dealers turned. While Indian shared in the business boom of the 1920s, it had lost its number one position in the U.S. market to Harley-Davidson. Into war era the Scout and Chief V-Twins, introduced in the early 1920s, became the Springfield firm's most successful models. Designed by Charles Franklin, the middleweight Scout and larger Chief shared a 42-degree V-Twin engine layout. Both models gained a reputation for strength and reliability. In 1930, Indian merged with DuPont Motors. DuPont Motors founder A. E. Paul DuPont ceased production of DuPont automobiles and concentrated the company's resources on Indian. DuPont's paint industry connections resulted in no fewer than 24 color options being offered in 1934. Models of that era had Indian's famous headdress logo on the gas tank. Indian's huge Springfield factory was known as the Wigwam, and Native American imagery was much used in advertising. In 1940, Indian sold nearly as many motorcycles as its major rival Harley-Davidson. At the time, Indian represented the only true American-made heavyweight cruiser alternative to Harley-Davidson. During this time, Indian also manufactured other products such as aircraft engines, bicycles, boat motors and air conditioners. Scout The Indian Scout was built from 1920 through 1949. It rivaled the Chief as Indian's most important model. The Scout was introduced for 1920. Designed by Charles B. Franklin, the Scout had its gearbox bolted to the engine and driven by gears instead of by belt or chain. The engine originally displaced 37 cu in the Scout 45, with a displacement of 45 cu in, became available in 1927 to compete with the Excelsior Super X. A front brake became standard on the original Scout early in 1928. Later in 1928, the Scout and Scout 45 were replaced by the Model 101 Scout. Another Franklin design, the 101 Scout had a longer wheelbase and lower seat height than the original. The 101 Scout was well known for its handling. The 101 Scout was replaced by the standard Scout for 1932. The standard Scout shared its frame with the Chief and the Four. As a result, the standard Scout was heavier and less nimble than the 101. A second line of Scouts was introduced for 1933, based on the frame of the discontinued Indian Prince single-cylinder motorcycle. The motorplane used the 45 cubic inch engine from the standard Scout while the Pony Scout had a reduced displacement of 30.5 cu in. 
In 1934 the motorplane was replaced by the Sports Scout with a heavier but stiffer frame better able to withstand the power of the 45 cubic inch engine, while the Pony Scout, later renamed the Junior Scout, was continued with the Prince motorplane frame. Between the introduction of the Sports Scout in 1934 and the discontinuation of the Standard Scout in 1937 there were three Scout models with three different frames. The Sports Scout and the Junior Scout were continued until civilian production was interrupted in early 1942. Chief introduced in 1922, the Indian Chief had a 1000cc engine based on the Power Plus engine. A year later the engine was enlarged to 1200cc. Numerous improvements were made to the Chief over the years, including the provision of a front brake in 1928. In 1940, all models were fitted with the large skirted fenders that became an Indian trademark, and the Chief gained a new sprung frame that was superior to rival Harley's unsprung rear end. The 1940s Chiefs were handsome and comfortable machines, capable of 85 miles per hour in standard form and over 100 miles per hour when tuned. Although their increased weight hampered acceleration, the 1948 Chief had a 74 cubic inch engine, hand shift and foot clutch. While one handlebar grip controlled the throttle, the other was a manual spark advance. In 1950, the V-twin engine was enlarged to 1,300 cc and telescopic forks were adopted, but Indians' financial problems meant that few bikes were built. Production of the Chief ended in 1953. Four Indian purchased the Ace Motor Corporation in 1927 and moved production of the four-cylinder Ace motorcycle to Springfield. It was marketed as the Indian Ace in 1927. In 1928, the Indian Ace was replaced by the Indian 401, a development of the Ace designed by Arthur O. Lemon, former chief engineer at Ace, who was employed by Indian when they bought Ace. The Ace's leading link forks and central coil spring were replaced by Indian's trailing link forks and quarter elliptic leaf spring. In 1929, the Indian 401 was replaced by the Indian 402 which received a stronger twin down tube frame based on the 101 Scout frame and a sturdier 5-bearing crankshaft than the Ace, which only had a 3-bearing crankshaft. Despite the low demand for luxury motorcycles during the Great Depression, Indian not only continued production of the four, but continued to develop the motorcycle. One of the less popular versions of the four was the upside-down engine on the 1936-1937 models. While earlier fours had inlet over exhaust cylinder heads with overhead inlet valves and side exhaust valves, the 1936-1937 Indian 4 had a unique EOI cylinder head with the positions reversed. In theory, this would improve fuel vaporization, and the new engine was more powerful. However, the new system made the cylinder head and the riders in seam very hot. This, along with an exhaust valve train that required frequent adjustment, caused sales to drop. The addition of dual carburetors in 1937 did not revive interest. The design was returned to the original configuration in 1938. Like the Chief, the 4 was given large, skirted fenders and plunger rear suspension in 1940. In 1941, the 18 inch wheels of previous models were replaced with 16 inch wheels with balloon tires. The Indian 4 was discontinued in 1942. Recognition of the historical significance of the 1944 cylinder model was made with an August 2006 United States Postal Service 39 cent stamp issue, part of a four panel set entitled American Motorcycles. A 1941 model is part of the Smithsonian Motorcycle Collection on display at the National Museum of American History.
World War II chiefs, scouts, and junior scouts were all used in small numbers for various purposes by the United States Army in World War II, and extensively by overseas Commonwealth military forces under the Lend-Lease program. However, none of these could unseat the Harley-Davidson WLA as the motorcycle mainly used by the U.S. Army. The early version was based on the 750cc Scout 640 and compared directly with Harley's offer, the WLA, but was either too expensive or heavy, or a combination of both. Indians' eventual offer, the 500cc 741B, was underpowered and was not selected to gain a U.S. military contract. Indian also offered a version based on the 1,200cc Chief, the 344. Approximately 1,000 experimental versions mounting the 750cc motor sideways and using shaft drive, as on a modern Moto Guzzi, the 841, was also tried. 841 During World War II, the U.S. Army requested experimental motorcycle designs suitable for desert fighting. In response to this request, Indian designed and built the 841. Approximately 1,056 models were built. The Indian 841 was heavily inspired by the BMW R71 motorcycle, as was its competitor, the Harley-Davidson XA. However, unlike the XA, the 841 was not a copy of the R71, although its tubular frame, plunger rear suspension, and shaft drive were similar to the BMWs. The 841 was different from the BMW in several aspects, most noticeably so with its 90-degree longitudinal crankshaft V-twin engine and girder fork. The Indian 841 and the Harley-Davidson XA were both tested by the Army, but neither motorcycle was adopted for wider military use. It was determined that the Jeep was more suitable for the roles and missions for which these motorcycles had been intended. Post-war decline and demise In 1945, a group headed by Ralph B. Rogers purchased a controlling interest of the company. On November 1, 1945, DuPont formally turned the operations of Indian over to Rogers. Under Rogers' control, Indian discontinued the Scout and began to manufacture lightweight motorcycles such as the 149 Arrow, the Super Scout 249, both introduced in 1949, and the 250 Warrior, introduced in 1950. Production of traditional Indians was extremely limited in 1949, and no 1949 chiefs are known to exist. All product manufacturing ended in 1953.